This is for you. Thank you. You're welcome. That's cool. Enjoy it. Hey, Jeff. What's up, Alicia? Wow, this is great. We're so excited to be back on the streets once again. On Rothschild Boulevard in downtown Tel Aviv. Today, we have a very special question for you guys. Do you believe in the existence of God? I know we do, Jeff. Yep, we, we definitely do. We believe in the one and only Jesus and the Messiah. Messiah. Hallelujah. Let's go ask people what they believe in and let's see what they have to say. Let's do it. Woo! So my name is Jeff. My name is Amir. Andreas. Yeah. So the question we're asking people today is do you believe in the existence of God? Which God? <laughs> oh, that's the idea. An omnipresent uh, in general or like... Our... Which one do you believe in? Oh, I believe there's a, maybe some kind of divine, you know, something, but I don't believe there's specific the one that Jews believe in or yeah. the Muslims or anyone. Yeah, and how did you come to that conclusion? Just stop believing. <laughs> Just, Just stop. stop feeling it, you know? Yeah. Uh, not exactly in the name of God. Actually in the, in the space, in the universe. You believe something, in the... something bigger, yes. And uh, how did you get to this conclusion? Um, you do any like research or read books or just Yes, yes. Yeah, and have you ever read the Bible before? Yeah, of course. Yeah? We have a book. Would you like one? <laughs> for now. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. No, okay, thank you. nice. Thanks a lot. This is for you. Thank you. You're welcome. So here, man, this is the New Testament for you. Okay. May God bless you and be with you, my friend. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Have a great day. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. Amit, Amir, Amir. Yeah, yeah Naim Maud. Great to talk to you as well. Yeah, you too. All right, bye. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Thank you, bye. Bye bye. So a lot of people think that that God is. They, first of all, they don't like to use the name God. Right. And then second of all, they think that it's like some big force that's bigger than us, mm -hmm. but not the God that they're used to or that they grew up learning about. Right. It's like this sort of power, like that. Controls. Yeah, so what, what do you think God says about himself? Let's, let's well, read from the Bible. This is like a, a word of praise to God, and, and I rejoice when I read these things. Yes. Deuteronomy 4, 39. It says, Know therefore today and take it to your heart that the Lord, he is God. In heaven above and on earth below, there is no other. Hallelujah. <laughs> the one and only Messiah, Jesus the Messiah. <laughs> amen. All right, Jeff, so how was it, man? Well, it was great. It's, it really, it's really awesome living in a country that has freedom of religion, mm. where we can just express our faith in Jesus as Jewish people on the streets of Tel Aviv and hand out Bibles. That's right. This is the only country, by the way, in the whole Middle East that you, you could do that. Do that. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So praise God for that, right? Yeah, we love Israel. <laughs> we love Israel and Jesus. Yeah, so the guy I spoke with, he was really cool. He was really wow. nice. Um, he had, his, you know, obviously a concept of, of something higher, mm -hmm. bigger than us, not necessarily the God of the Bible. He'd read the Bible before, yep. um, but I don't know if he'd read the New Testament, so I, I think he did. No, he's read parts of it. Parts of it, yeah. yeah. He, he, he didn't have the whole like, yeah, picture. Yeah, the whole picture. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So he didn't have the whole picture. So now that he has the, the Tanakh and the New Testament, the, the uh, Hebrew Scriptures and the New Testament he together, he, reads it. he can see God's story from beginning to end, straight through. Nice. And yeah. it's great that you gave him your contact and maybe we can stay in touch with him and he knows where to go. He has the channel's name, right? Yeah. So maybe he can uh, become a believer and we can have a sequence of the next uh, the next uh, chapter too. What happens with Amir? Amir was his name? Yeah, Amir was his name. Nice. Yeah, Amir? cool. We're watching, bro. We're waiting for you. Come see the truth, the light, and the way. <laughs> what about your guy? Um, my guy was really nice. He was from Greece and he really, really, really was open. Yeah. He even took the New Testament. I mean, he was open because he didn't really have anything that like, I asked him about his beliefs and stuff and he didn't really have anything. He was like, yeah, I believe this because of like, I read something. He, did, he, he didn't know. It wasn't know concrete. It. Yeah, it wasn't concrete, yeah. exactly. So. I pray for my guys. Yes, well, pray for them to know uh, the truth and yeah. Jesus. Yeah. So thank you guys again for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free I have to a question. leave a comment below. Did you order me a soda? Jeff will uh, answer. Yeah. You did. Thanks. Maybe. Thanks, man. And that's it. Cool. All right, guys. Bye.